We've got some breaking news coming in right now. It's the first official confirmation of a state visit. Hamid Karzai, the president of Afghanistan, has officially confirmed that he will be attending Modi's swearing in. This is the first official confirmation after invitations were sent out yesterday by the Foreign Secretary, our correspondent Maha Siddiqui, breaking this story. She'll be joining us in just a short while from now for more information. Continuous breaking news. We also understand uh, from Maha that Narendra Modi's first official engagement after the swearing-in dinner will be for Sark dignitaries at Hyderabad House in Delhi. But here's the first official confirmation of a visit by a country's leader, Afghan President Hamid Karzai, known to be a good friend of India, will be attending Narendra Modi's swearing-in on Monday evening. This is the first official confirmation from about 60 invitations that were sent out by the Foreign Office last evening. Okay, our Foreign Affairs Correspondent Maha Siddiqui is with us. Uh, Maha, several invitations sent out from the Foreign Secretary's Office last evening. The first one coming in from Hamid Karzai. Absolutely, and it was expected that Hamid Karzai would be keen on attending the swearing-in, and uh, we have it now officially confirmed that Hamid Karzai is going to be part of uh, the swearing-in. He'll be in attendance over there. Now we also understand that at the moment there has been no official confirmation from any other country. Eyes, uh, all eyes are keenly trained at this point, Shiv, on Pakistan specifically, whether Nawaz Sharif will attend the swearing-in ceremony himself or send some important representative from his side we understand that in Pakistan this is being viewed as an icebreaker this uh, invite is being viewed as an icebreaker and perhaps Nawaz Sharif might therefore want to come as you were also pointing out and something we are breaking at this point yes. is that Modi's first official engagement right. will be hosting a dinner at Hyderabad house for all the Saag dignitaries after the swearing-in on the right. 26th evening it also goes to show that there will be more interaction at that dinner and therefore more leaders might want to come. Right now, after taking oath of office, Narendra Modi will host a dinner for all SARC leaders and this will be his first official engagement after he takes oath as India's next Prime Minister. Maha Siddiqui is still with us. Uh, Maha, I'd like to first ask you, you know, what is the significance really of Hamid Karzai being the first leader to agree to come, uh, you know, for Modi swearing in ceremony and also why Sark dinner to be, uh, you know, his, his first official engagement? Because Rishika, all these dignitaries have been invited, an official invite was sent out yesterday by the Foreign Secretary to her counterpart informing uh, those, uh, the SARC countries that their heads of state or government are invited for the swearing-in ceremony of Narendra Modi. Right. It's going to be a gala affair with over 3,000 invitees. Now, this dinner assumes significance because during the swearing-in ceremony, obviously the interaction will be limited. But when the dinner is hosted at Hyderabad House, right after the swearing-in ceremony, it will give Narendra yes. Modi, the new Prime Minister, more time to interact with these leaders. But let me very quickly point out also that there has already been there have been voices of dissent already as far as uh, uh, the Sri Lankan president goes, Mahindra right. Rajapaksha. Yes. We understand that MDMK has already made noises about it.